Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be answering the question, what's the difference between a release and a version? The answer might blow your mind away. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. So for this video, I am going to first show you what a release is, and then I'm going to show you how to use the release. So go into any software based project. It doesn't matter which one. It just needs to be a software type. Once you're there on the left hand side, you're going to find the releases. This releases here is what we're going to be focusing on today. So what exactly is a release? Well, a release is a way for you to identify work or issues, stories, features, functionality, whatever you want to call it. It allows you to group it together so that you can ship all of those features together at the same time. And in Jira, you come into this releases section here and you basically maintain your releases here. Now, if you're paying attention, you will notice that there is a create version button and thus the mystery. What is the difference between the releases and the version? Well, let me spoil this for you. It means the exact same thing. A release and a version is the exact same thing in Jira. Why at last and cause it two different things blows my mind. It's beyond me. But for the purposes of you and using Jira and using versions and using releases, just know that whenever you hear the word release or the word version, it means the exact same thing. Now there are different ways to use the version and I'm going to show you that in a second, but with respect to release versus versions, we are talking the exact same thing nothing different. So in your releases section, this is usually where you create the versions. And so you can just click on the create version button up here, name your version, give it some dates, a little brief description, hit save. And all of a sudden you're going to have a version that is now available to you for use inside of Jira. So now what, how do you use these things? Well, the magic is now within the Jira issue itself. So let's jump into a bug. I specifically want to jump into a bug because the bug will illustrate the best way to use releases. Check this out. So inside of your backlog, basically go and create a bug. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to create a bug and I'm just going to call it. This is my first bug enter. And now what I want to do is I want to open this bug and I'm actually going to click on this link here, which will give it to me full screen. And I want to direct your attention to the right hand side of this bug. When we expand the more fields, keep in mind that your configurations might be a little bit different depending on how you have your Jira set up. But the fields that we're looking for are effects versions and fixed versions. And I'm going to show you what the differences are in this video. So when you come down here to the bottom right corner, we have the fixed versions and the effects versions. And so this is really in these two fields. This is where you can now use your release. You can click on either the fixed versions or the effects versions, and you'll see that you can see, visualize, and be able to select from that option the releases that we created a moment ago. And as you can see, they point to the exact same thing. They point to the exact same values that we had in the releases, thus furthering proving that the release is the version. Now, there are two differences here with respect to now how you use the versions. As you can see, you have a fixed version, which basically means when is this issue going to be fixed by? Again, this is really, really good for if you're working with bugs, but if you're working on stories or tasks or any other issue type, you're still going to have the same fixed versions field, and it means pretty much the exact same thing. The other field that is kind of new that is really only unique to the bug, you won't see this field by default. You can add it, but you won't see it by default. And the other issue types is the effects version. And this field is designed to tell you in which version of the software your bug was found in. This is why it's in the bug field, because it gives you a guide. Somebody was testing something and then they found a problem. They found a mistake. They found an impediment of some sort. And now they created a bug in Jira and they want to tell you, they want to convey, Hey, I was in this version of the software when I found this bug. And that's what goes in that effects version. So that goes to say 
that for the most part, doesn't always have to be true, but for the most part, your effects version is either going to be a previous version that has already been shipped or another a previous release, or it can be an active release that's being developed and your developers being very proactive in uh, capturing bugs and associating them to a current release, current version uh, rollout. So that's pretty much it. That's the differences between a release and a version. And as an added bonus, you even got what's the difference between effects versions and fixed versions. If you like this video, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.